Wow, 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 wow. Let me see. These are no longer prescription sunglasses. So I can actually see now without my eyeglasses, which is awesome. Thank you. I'm very happy. I'm very happy I don't have to wear my glasses. Thank you. Thank you, LASIK Vision Institute, I think it's the company. All right, thanks. And All right, so once you get your schedule, your first consultation schedule with LASIK Vision Institute in Burlington, uh, the first thing you gotta keep in mind, this is your first consultation. There's gonna be a lot of people that usually, uh, I scheduled mine, with, was it a Thursday or Wednesday? So there was a lot of people there. Um, I knew I'd have to wait. And the only reason why you have to wait for so long is that there's a lot of people and the test is long because they have to go to a bunch of stations. You have to go to several machines. Uh, dedicated for the eyes and making sure you, you, the shape of your eye, the, the the prescription, and there's a lot of tests. I'll be honest with you, I don't even know what they did, but there's a lot of tests you have to go through. Uh, the most important part is they they do your prescription, how your your eyes prescription, your eye gas prescription, they double check it, and then they dilate it, um, and then they you look at those letters again from far away. Uh, they're gonna you're gonna try to see your once they're dilated, how far is your um, whatever your prescription is and then after that you come back for another uh, test uh, with Dr. Brennan uh, for your final prescription before your surgery May 24th 2018 I'm at the LASIK Institute in Burlington and getting ready to get my eyes done and I'm very excited See you soon. And the day of the surgery, you come back there, make sure you're ready, drink a lot of water. Actually, don't even drink too much water. It's it, You're gonna have to go pee. You're there sitting there for so long. You're gonna go in and out, but keep yourself occupied. It's a long wait. They wanna try to get you there um, two or three hours before your surgery. There's a lot of wait. That's a long wait. If somebody's bringing you there, do them a favor, tell them to go to the mall, hang out, go home, and then pick you back up. If they're really very far away, tell them to hang out at the mall, watch a movie or something. It's a long wait. When I got dropped off, I told my wife and my family to just hang out at the mall, do their shopping and do whatever and come back. I'll text them when I, when I was done with my uh, surgery. Um, So once you get there, they're gonna, they, you're gonna wait at the waiting uh, waiting room, and then they call you into the second waiting room, and then they, they talk. They, they, I think they might. Did they, they even do another test? I think they did another test. I'll be honest with you. Then they call you into the other room, the third room. That's the OR room, uh, waiting room, and then that's when the staff will um, g give you the whole procedure and what's gonna happen. They're gonna give you a bag, and what's inside that bag? There's a the the artificial tears make sure you get the non preserver they give you some of it i think like two or three boxes or something like that they give you goggles uh the goggles are used for when you're showering so that you don't want to get your eyes wet uh they give you uh, a patch for your eyes when you go to sleep and then they give you sunglasses so the sunglasses they'll give you sunglasses so because once you get out of there it's going to be very very bright after the surgery you can still see but the, you're very light sensitive so it makes sure you use them uh, so once you sit there they'll, they'll walk it through and the staff will give you um, uh, uh, eye drops um, for, for your eyes uh, numbing cream uh, numbing drops for your eyes before you go in and then when it's time they'll say you'll hear a knock on the door a bang on the wall it's like boop boop it's like you'll, you'll hear boop boop that means that one surgery is done and they're gonna prep the next one to come in. So it's really like, it's a concert, it's an orchestra. It's like nonstop, like boop, boop. You go, like they, they take out a patient, another patient comes in. It's amazing. It's like, it's it's clockwork, it's it's efficient. It's the most efficient thing you, that you'll see uh, done in, in, in any places. So don't worry, they know what they're doing. They'll take care of you. They're one of the best staff there. 
And then once you get into the surgery, the OR, you're gonna say hi to the surgeon. You probably won't even see him because he's all the way in the back. They'll lay it down. They'll do the they'll do the machine. The machine goes down. Honestly, it'll probably it probably took like seconds each eyes. I would say like 15 to 20 seconds per eye. Um, and 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 it's it's that quick. And it's really amazing how quick you don't feel anything. It's a little. It's just awkward because they're gonna go through your eye, and you know the the machine's gonna go down your eye. But you won't feel a thing. It's just an awkward reaction as a human. Uh, it's not normal, of course, trying to get onto your eye. But it's no pain, no nothing. It's one of the best things I ever did in my life. Uh, so expect all that. And after the surgery, you get out. The, the, the staff will escort you out, sit you in the one room where Dr. Brennan will come in, the optometrist will come in, check your eyes, and then wrap your eyes up. They can, she's going to put the eye protector, kind of like the patch. They're going to tape it up. You can see. Don't worry about it. The funny thing is, like, you'll just feel awkward. I look, I look beat up and stuff like that, but it's just like, it's just, uh, it's just so many drops in my eye. That's why you just, like, look so many, uh, so beat up. But it's, like, so quick. It's, it's really fascinating. Uh, Dr. Brennan will put the eye patch, uh, the patches on your eyes, um, and then she's going to put the shades. and going to let you wear the shades, and then uh, she can call your family uh, to pick you up. I, honestly, you can still walk. You can still see. It's just a little bit better, but you can still see. You can still manage to walk around and stuff like that, but it's best to keep your eyes closed. So if you already have somebody to get there, um, I had to wait for my wife to come back from the mall, but they had probably like five minute drive or something like that. But everything's okay, everything's fine. One of the best decisions I ever did. Just got out. Close, close my eyes. After the surgery, you go home, close, uh, go to sleep, and then set your alarm. I think five or four hours after the surgery, I had to put in those drops, the antibiotic drops. There's two medicated drops, prescription drops that you have to use, and then the artificial tears. If you go get your artificial tears, make sure it's preservative free because uh, that's what they prescribe. But five hours after the surgery, you wake up, uh, put on those drops again, and I think you have to do it. One is two every two hours and one is every four hours so uh, I pretty much do it at the same time um, and just set up your alarm they're very helpful the artificial tears are very helpful so you really have to do those because if you don't do them your eyes will dry out and it's gonna be painful in regards to closing and opening your eyes so it's very important to do your aftercare and you should be okay um, I, but on the first day the next day you can see clearly no doubt about it I was 2015 after my surgery I'm still 2015 now, but I'm saying that's how great it is. I hope everything I told you will give you an idea on what to expect in regards to going to LASIK Vision Institute of Burlington. It's again, they're one of the best staff out there. They work like an orchestra. They do a lot of stuff. They're, they know what they're doing. They're expert in their field. So trust me, they're one of the best out there. Um, and the price is great too. So price wise, they'll beat anyone I'll be honest with you so uh, make sure you look for those Groupon ask them for sale and stuff like that they're always gonna give you a good deal um, with that said uh, I hope the video helps you a lot in regards to making that choice and if you want a LASIK or not uh, for me it's very worth it um, even though uh, it's one of the best thing I ever purchased in my life um, so if you go to LASIK Vision Institute and you talk to them or um, call them and set up a free schedule, a consultation, tell them Joey Mallory sent you. I'm one of the clients there and they'll send me some, a little bit of goodies just in case. All right, bye.